insists all the officials from the county government, officials from national government, our partners led by Lance Brooks, who is the Chief Biological Threat Reduction Program of the U.S. Department of Defense, Wanainchi Amjambo. I just want to say that uh, what is happening today fits very, very well in our journey to provide quality, affordable health care to the people of Isiolo, which is the promise I gave to these people uh, 2017 uh, and during the campaign. And I remember we said, I am a doctor, my deputy is a medical doctor, the speaker is a laboratory person, therefore there should be no reason why we should actually be judged in our performance in health sector, as much as we do well in others. I hope today, with the help of partners and also our own initiative, a partnership has come that has really changed a very, very dire situation because I remember this lab, there was a, a, a photograph of a toilet which was circulating in the social media about the state of our lab. I don't know whether you remember it. Wale wanaangalia social media. Ilikuwa naangalia ni hospital yetu. Na choo vile ilivyo. That toilet actually is in, the, in that lab. It's just the way that toilet was, was actually a picture, a true picture of what was happening at that time because we didn't have equipment, we did not have reagents, we did not have staff to run that lab. We had six laboratory technicians or technologists. Today, with the partnership of the U.S. and our own initiative, I want that, as, as stated by Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Brooks, that this is a true partnership because we looked at what the U.S. government equipment was bringing and what was deficient, we made sure at the same time we put in our own so that this lab is completely at a state of art. I think today we can be very proudly saying that Isiolo Laboratory is even better than the one of Nairobi Hospital. And it's true. It's very true. That's at Aukiwa Nairobi correct diagnosis because all the equipment, any equipment you want, kama ni akupima damu, kama ni akupima cho, kama ni akupima mate, kama ni akupima kitu chochote ya kupima kwa lab, hakuna ile hakuna kwa hii lab leo. Nusu imeletwa na wadamini Ile pengu ilibaki sisi pia county tumeongeza Hakuna kitu chechote ilab leo inakosa Lab imetengenezwa pia, ukuta imetengenezwa, imekua safi, imefanywa biosafety controls Imewekua wezi ingia hiyo lab sasa bila ujue code ya kuingia ndani Pia tumeongeza wafanyikazi, we have added 11 extra laboratory technologies so that there's no shortage of staff in that lab. Kwa hivyo, leo tumesonga na tumepiga hatua kubwa mbele. Sababu, kama hakuna lab ambaye unaamini, unajua lab ingine, ndani ya hii town unaenda unapimwa kila mtu wako na typhoid. Kila mtu hiko na malaria. Kila mitu hiko na amweba. Eh? Leo tuko na lab ambaye ukiambiwa huko na amweba, weli huko na amweba. 
Kama unambua huko na malaria, kweli huko na malaria. Kama unambua huko na typhoid, kweli huko na typhoid. Hapa na tuya kutengeneza pesa. Kwa hivyo, hakuna haja nyina poteza wakati ndani ya hii town. Lazima muje musaidike hapa, tunataka UHC ifanye kazi. Na UHC itafanya kazi kama daktari hiko ya kukupima, lab hiko ya kupima damu na chona kila kitu, dawa hiko, na mina ona bado changamoto ya dawa haijaisha. Na mina ataka kusema, nikiwa hapa ya kwamba jameni mambo ya kemsa kupitia uh, Ministry of Health officials. Kama hiko hapa national officials from Ministry of Health. I think you need to take this message back to Waziri. I have even spoken with her. Tomorrow I am meeting her and I will tell her again. This business of approving our orders to KEMSA by the Ministry of Health headquarters, it takes time and it delays our orders to the extent that there is gap in the availability of medicines. Therefore, please, can, can the approval happen at KEMSA so that whoever is approving at Afia House should move to KEMSA and approve it there so that our requests for medicine do not take three weeks, four weeks, so that between that period there is shortage of medicine and we hear a lot of complaints here. So if we on the Nataka Kusema kwa national government, yeah, really Nataka Kusema, why I said this facility is adding to our journey is because it's your law is one of the counties with the highest or one of the counties with not so good health indicators. When I say health indicators, we are talking about maternal mortality. Ours is 790 out of 100,000 births. Infant mortality is 154 out of 1,000 births. We are one of the counties among the 25 counties that contribute to the 26% malnutrition in this country. We have a distance between facilities that is 49 kilometers against the World Health Recommendation of 5 kilometers between health facilities. So it means we have a lot to do to reverse this health indicators, bad health indicators. And today, this journey, this incident, or this occurrence, this facility that we got today in collaboration with the U.S. government will take us one or no, several steps towards reducing those uh, bad health statistics. My strategy is that we start, number one, with community health service. That is the number one approach to reverse these bad health statistics. And that is why, as a medical doctor, I am committed to partner with Living Goods so that they work in the rural areas. They have added technology to the knowledge. Each community health volunteer is having a smartphone with an application that alerts the community health volunteer that today, house number Y, the child needs to go to immunization. House number Z, the mother needs to go for the third or the second antenatal care visit. Today, we're supposed to give health education in village X against or to teach people on how to prevent their real diseases or what are the causes of TB and how they can be prevented. If we strengthen our community health strategy, then that becomes the number one defense and the number one strategy to reverse these negative health statistics. Then. Number two, after that, that is level one. After that, we are improving our rural health facilities. 
Last year we built seven more dispensaries. This year we are in the process of building seven more dispensaries. In these two years I've been in office, we have built 14 dispensaries. That way we are reducing that distance of 49 smaller and smaller so that we have no more facilities and therefore people can access health facilities without traveling that long distance. Also at the same level, I am partnering with Philips and I am happy to announce here that we have now gotten with the aid of Netherlands government a transaction advisor. Why? We want to go into public-private partnership for those rural health facilities. And Philip will inculcate private culture of efficiency, of youth stretching the shilling longest. While still they make their profit, I am sure we will get the best service in those rural health facilities. We are going to pilot with 15 dispensaries. We are going to follow the law. We are going to invite the PPP unit of the Treasury to be with us. We have already invited Ministry of Health, a Dr. Mugambi and a certain a doctor. Two of them are already with us in that negotiation. And we now have a private company called Rebel who is paid for by Netherlands government to advise us so that we get the best deal for our people. So that those after the community health initiative, then the rural health facilities also provide the highest possible quality care for our people. Then at this level, level four, level five, we now are today celebrating one of the greatest milestones where we have now achieved the highest possible service or the high, the best possible service at the laboratory for our people. This is a teaching and referral facility. Therefore, we have now built, in the last two years, we have built medical training college. It was just in this office before you know. Now we have, from scratch, we have built six classrooms and eight offices last year. This year, we are building a, a two-story, two blocks of two stories for men, two stories for female, so that the students who are being accommodated out there in town can now be accommodated here so that our college now can be fully operational. Next financial year, we are building the administration block for the teachers so that now the college is complete. And this laboratory will add a lot to the quality of teaching that is happening at this college because we will have laboratory technicians, laboratory technologists, and other laboratory professionals being trained here over and above the high level biosafety teaching that will happen here. We have now the CT scan, which is now a state-of-art facility, which we have just opened a few months ago. It's not operational because of, uh, I am told, uh, there is a, a printer. And I want uh, the, the CC and the chief officer. I want this printer issue to be sorted within this month, please. So that this facility is not just by name. We have a very, very expensive state-of-art facility and building and equipment here, it must start serving these people within this month. If it's not, let me know why, so that we can push even with the wazir. Okay? So we have now changed, the, the, we are slowly there for changing this mortuary. I am sure you know how it was when we came. Now we have put a new, four new uh, coolers or uh, Whatever they are, the, 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 the chambers now are fully functional and the bodies now are well preserved. You will not hear the smell along the road that you, you, you hear and it is functioning very well. The wards will be, uh, we have now also put oxygen plants in this hospital and in Garbatula 
and, and piped it to every bed. And right now, our patients, including newborn and even in theater, are receiving oxygen, which we use to get from Nairobi. And sometimes we run out of it here, and our patients will actually die because of lack of oxygen. Therefore, now that one is fully functional. It's brand new that we just put last year. So, we have revamped the psychiatric unit. We have now started cancer screening center. The dental unit, we have now put a brand new dental chair that is already functional with a dentist. And therefore, this hospital, therefore, is slowly, slowly coming out to become what it's meant to be, a teaching a referral hospital for those rural health facilities that we are revamping. Therefore, this is the journey we are in, in terms of health, and we have come a long way, but still, we still have a long journey to cover, to make sure that Isiolo County Health Services is the best in the county, in the country, among the 47 countries, that is our target, and we will work very hard. I want to appreciate my staff, the chief of staff, the CEC, and all the staff of the hospital. And I really appreciate what the work you are doing. Uh, the laxity and the uh, lack of motivation is slowly wearing out. These improved facilities, I just saw the lab guys, they are all very happy and smiling because it's not just about money. It's also the environment of work. And I'm happy and I'm very thankful that you are, you are able to contribute to the happiness of my staff as they serve their people because that environment now is a state of art facility with even a place for them to work, to have a bit of rest and have tea while also they care for the patient, which is also a very clean environment. So I want to say that Sisi tutaendelea kufanya kazi, maneno munasikia ni mingi, lakini kazi inaendelea. Hii ni maneno ya afya leo tunaongea. Maneno ya maji tutaendelea kuongea mtaju mta kuja kuongea siku nyingine maneno ya maji. Maneno ya barabara mnaendelea kuona. Juzi tumeitwa kufanyiwa audit. Hiyo ni kawaida. Hakuna mambo mapi ya pale. Tumeitwa na magavana wote 47 watapitia waulizwe maswali. Na mimi sitaki kuongea mambo mengi. Hiyo budget ya audit ni ya maka 3 2015 2016. 2016-2017 na 2017-2018. Na tumepewa wiki moja ya kumaliza ya madokument yote. Kwa hivyo kama unaona wafanyikazi ya treasury hawako, ni kwa sababu zamani tunafanya kazi ya mwaka moja, audit ya mwaka moja. Mara hii tunafanya audit ya mwaka tatu, kwa hivyo ndamana lazima tumalize yo kazi yote, tupeleke senate, kwa hivyo hakuna shida hapo. Na nataka kusema ya kwamba, Serikali yangu tutafanya kazi ya kwa wananchi wa Isiolo. Na nimeamua ya kwamba sisi tutafanya kazi. Na kazi nafikiri inaonekana leo hii ni mmoja yao. Hii hospitali mnajua vile ilivyo. Sasa mumeona MTC vile inaendelea. Mnaona lab vile inaendelea. Mnaona ndani ya hospitali vile ilivyo. Obviously kutakuwa na upungufu na madawa hapa na pale. Mtu akikosa tupa na doama, akikosa dawa kidogo, isiwe sasa ni nduru na hakuna kazi tunafanya. Kwa sababu hata Nairobi Hospital ukenda, kuna wakati utakuwa na upungufu hapa na pale. Hata nyumba yako kila wakati uwezi pata kila kitu. Kwa hivyo, lakini lazima muangalia nyuma vile ilivyo, na muangalia sasa vile ilivyo, na muangalia vile tutakavyokuwa vile tunaelekea mbele. Na mimi na fili mbele iko sawa sawa, na tunaendelea kuhakikisha, I county inuke na baada ya miaka 5 hii ni miaka miwili peke yake. Tukiangalia mambo ya elimu. Kwa, kwa miaka 5 iliyopita madarasa 30 ya ECD ndio lijangwa. 30 ECD classrooms in 5 years. This year we have built 34. In 2 years we have built 34 classrooms for ECD. And we are partnering also in every step we partner because we have to extend our shilling the longest it can go. And in education, we are partnering with UNICEF 
and we are very happy about that partnership. Our young children are now, uh, the, the preschool kids are now receiving the best uh, care because UNICEF has assisted us with state-of-art teaching materials. Upper our kids get now the same kind of training using materials that anywhere in the world the children are using. So slowly, slowly, we are moving. Namina shukuru, I na shukuru vile nini wanainchi wa isiolo muna viona na matuni. Kwa sababu kuna watu wanasema tu amuke tu vanya mandamano. Vijana wanambua tu amuke tu vanya mandamano. Kina mama wanambua tu amuke tu vanya mandamano. Namina wana watu isiolo wanakati. Hiyo ndo hile furaha niko nae kwa sababu munaona kazi vile inagofanyika. Na muendele wacha muniangalie vile ninafanya kazi na maendeleo maungeo pio lazima yendele kwa sababu wengine wanalipua kuangalia sisi na kuongea jietu. Mimi ninalipua kuafanyia kazi na kuonyesha kwa macho. Kwa hivyo wacha tuendele ili muone ndio utuweze kuamua baada ya miaka tano kama tumefanya kazi ama tujafanya kazi ama namna gani kwa hiyo machache nasema asante i want to really really thank our partners you have really uh, enhanced our journey and we have arrived faster than we would have without you thank you very much and god bless you thank you